once the score is clean, you want to slice it to some nice pieces. Nice leg for deep frying. I have basin. And soak it in wine. So it can get rid of some of the odor. Soak it in wine for like 30 minutes. Okay. About two or three cloves clove of garlic and about this much ginger to the soaking process. Just want to soak in the flavor. These are the squares soaked in wine. So you want to get the chopped garlic and ginger and soak it with it. Stir it up real good. Cover and let it sit for like 30 minutes so all the flavor gets nice and soaked up. And then you can batter and deep fry it. In a pot, pour oil and heat it up really hot. And here's the um, powder. You can put anything in there flavoring you like. I like to put garlic salt and some of this galanga powder in it. And here is my squirmy soaked in wine and garlic and ginger for 30 minutes. So what you're gonna do is you just take it out and put the batter on like that. Just dry batter. Don't need a wet dry batter like that doing a couple of it leg and thigh are the best op option to batter and deep fry and then shake it real good see it's a piece of leg let's drop in the hot oil see make sure the oil is really hot to get it and stir in a couple of these shake it up Just like that. Get some of the excess extra powder off of it. You can massage it in. Doing some little leg. It's so cute. It's gonna be so delicious. like that. You can do a couple of pan at a time because you don't want to overcrowd it and be all stuck together. Let that completely deep fry. All you wait, you can finish batter and beat them. I'm 
this is so delicious. This is deep fried corn. Once the meat looks nice and brown like crispy like this on the outside, I'm going to turn down the heat to medium and let it just kind of cook on the inside before you take it off the stove, okay? This here is my first batch. Look how delicious they look. Nice and crispy on the outside. These are the legs. These are the two thighs. I'm going to give it a taste in just a minute. We're waiting for the second batch to finish. All done. Look how beautiful these turn out. All done. Golden brown. Really hot. Looks so delicious. Now there's only one way to find out if they're good. Test time. These will go really good with a can of beer. Eating on the couch, just watching TV. Relax, relaxing food, just like hot wing or something like that. But instead, it's squirrel meat. Deep fry and batter. So delicious. Now I'm gonna taste it. See how these look so good. Here's a ch not chicken leg, excuse me, squirrel leg. Let's check it out. Oh my god, so delicious. Mmm, nice and crispy. You guys gotta try this recipe. It's so good. You can hardly taste the gaming. All you taste is deliciousness. Mm. I know a lot of people say it tastes like chicken, but really, it does taste like chicken now. So good with the batter. Mm. I'm gonna try a piece of pie. See, it's a half leg and half thigh. I'm gonna try that piece of thigh for you guys. Oh my god! Mmm, mmm, so good. So tender. You, once you slowly fry it, it becomes so tender, so crispy on the outside. You guys really have to try this recipe. Let me know what you think. Look how delicious that is. The inside, the skin, nice and crispy. Oh my god. Mm, so good. Crunchy, yeah, delicious and soft on the inside. Mm, this is how you eat a squirrel. Do you find